Hey, what's up guys? We're back. Uh, we haven't posted a video in a while. We've been fishing a few times, but fishing's been pretty tough lately. So today we're gonna go do some herping. We're gonna try to new some lizards uh, at the local hills uh, around where we live. And we're gonna be trying to noose granite spiny lizards today. Um, the males are beautiful. They have nice color on their back and their bellies are beautiful. Hopefully we catch them so we can show you guys. Uh, but first, right now we're gonna show you the knot that I use for a lizard noose because that's how we're gonna be catching them. And um, so yeah, I'll show you the knot that I use. There's a couple different kinds that uh, people use, but the slip knot that I use is uh, what I'm gonna show you today. So that's it. Bye. Okay guys, so here is how I tie my knot. So hopefully you guys could see this. Looks like it's okay. Okay, so first, it's a very, very simple knot. So, first I just take my line. I use fishing line. I think this is 10 or 12 pound test, but it doesn't really matter a whole lot as long as the, as long as it's gonna slip. So, first we just tie a regular square knot. So we make one loop, and then we bring the line through that loop one time. Just like that. Okay. So then what we do next is we kind of tie another square knot inside of this loop. So we got it like this right now. Let's see if you guys can see that. And then I take it again inside of the knot not a double square knot but we go inside of that loop and tie another loop another square knot inside of the loop so we have a so now we look like this okay and then we just tighten it up you don't want to make it super tight because you want it to you do want it to slip because it's called a slip knot so then we tighten it. You don't want to make it super, super tight, but tight enough to where it's not going to um, restrict the line that needs to move. So here we go. So then, lizard, we try to get it around the lizard's head. And you pull tight. And then you caught a lizard. Today, hopefully, a granite spiny lizard. We'll see you guys in the hills. All right, guys, so we're out on the trail. Uh, it's only like two minutes from our house, so um, pretty close. Uh, so it's windy, so there's gonna be some wind noise. I hope it's not too bad. Uh, it's probably gonna be pretty bad. It's pretty windy, so um, sorry about that, guys. But these are the rocks that granite spinies like to hang out in. They like to hang out in these um, rocky outcroppings. And um, so we're just gonna see what we can find. You see one? I see two. You see two? Where? See those rocks. Oh yeah, I do see them. Okay, all right. Evan spots some right over there. Evan's got a better eye than me. Let's go see if we can get them. Yeah, they're gonna grow on the boy. And uh, you know, it's a good time of day for snakes to be out also, guys. So uh, we may see some snakes when we're in uh, Rosaliboa territory. So we'll see what happens. You don't think we're gonna get them? They haven't moved yet. I think I can get up there. Hey, stay back right here, okay? Okay. Um, because I'm gonna walk up in this brush. You know, and rattlesnakes could be out right now, so I don't want you tromping through the brush, okay? So it looks like there's a pair right here, guys. I'm gonna zoom in on them just so you can see them. So there they are right there. Those are granite spiny lizards. Oh, there goes the female. And there goes the male. He's still there. All right, we're going to see if we can get him. No promises, but we're going to try. He's right there. Let's see if we can zoom in on him again. There he goes. All right, I'm going to go for it. I'm gonna try to get him. Let's see if 
if I could actually reach him from here. Oh. Okay, he's just barely poking his head out. Let's see if I can get this around his head. Oh, we got him! We got him! <laughs> we got him! Yeah, wait, wait, I'm gonna bring him down to you. Okay, I'm gonna grab him quick. I'm gonna grab him quick. Here, hold the camera real quick. Can I grab him? Hold on. Just hold on a minute. Okay, guys, uh, we had a little mishap. My phone ran out of memory. Um, here, I got him, bud. My phone ran out of memory. Uh, not yet. My phone ran out of memory, and uh, so I had to go and delete some videos real quick. But real quick, but we still got them. Um, so Evan, hold the uh, hold the camera real quick. Okay. And all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna get him. Now these guys, they have a strong bite. I've been bit by them, and it hurts. They do not mess around. It is painful. Uh, very painful bite from these guys. They have very strong jaws. So check this out, guys. Check out how big he is. He's a big one. Uh, looks like he just lost the tip of his tail. It's starting to grow back a little bit. Um, but check this out. I want to show you guys something. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get the noose off. So see, it comes off very easy. Okay, very easy. It's not... Um, I can't see get out on more okay that's good um see those lizards are very tough they have very tough scales um when you get them on here it's not strangling them it's just holding them and so i just wanted to explain that real quick and you can see there's no marks it's not bleeding anywhere um so i just want to show you guys that real quick but check out the back see, see how they have this blue or purple on their back um so that's how you know it's a male but also uh, what is really beautiful on these guys is their belly. Check that out. Check out their belly. So males have this bright belly. Um, way more brighter than a, uh, your uh, fence lizard. Uh, they have this bright blue belly. Uh, blue or purple. What color is that, Evan? Oh, like, blue. <laughs> like blue. I'm a little colorblind, guys, so sorry. But it's bright, so they're a beautiful lizard. Check out their back. Oh, we're a little there's focused. Like a little, like, there we go. I don't know, like green. There's like green there. little greens and stuff. Yep. So should I hold them? beautiful, beautiful lizard. Yeah, you can hold them in a minute. So I just want to show you guys up close. Um, so you see their neck. They're not hurt at all. Um, they have very tough scales. Basically, it just holds them. It's not strangling them. Um, when you do some, it basically holds them. Just so you can get a hold of him and he's gonna bite me, it's gonna hurt. Okay. Woo! Alright, sorry guys, that was close. I don't like getting bit by these, I've been bit by them and it hurts. It seriously hurts. They ripped a chunk off uh, my thumb and uh, wasn't very much fun. So Evan wants to hold him, so I'll let Evan do the release. And oh, look, his female's back. You know what? Let me see if I could get the female. I'll hold that one. Hold this one. Okay, you got a good hold of him? Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. I found her. I don't think I could get to her, though. I don't think I could get her. She's in this crack right in here. She is in here. I saw her, and then she dipped down further into that crack. So this is where they'll hang out and um, it almost looks like a bat skeleton right there. Might just be debris. But so she's in there. I'm gonna go ahead and release him in that same crack. So let me go get him and we're gonna check the other side of the hill because we're losing the Oh my gosh there are bats in there. <laughs> I just heard so <laughs> Evan did you hear that? That was a, a bat chirping. Okay, so there are bats in here. 
that probably is a bat skeleton right there I don't know if you guys could see that right there right there yeah you can see that it kind of looks like a bat skeleton okay but I just heard that chirping oh wait that's the hear that Did you hear that Ev? Those are bats in the crack, along with the lizard. Can you see them? No, I can't see them. They're just in there. So that's pretty cool, guys. I hope you guys can hear that. So I'm going to go ahead and get that male. The female was already in there, so... I'm going to go ahead and get the male, bring him up here, and release him with her. And, um... We'll go look for some more. We're starting to lose the sun. So you can see the sun's coming down. So we're going to get up on the other side of this hill, uh, where the sun is still out, see if we can get a couple more. Okay guys, so Evan's going to do the release, he want to do the release, so try to pick him up a little higher so he can see that crack, so he knows exactly where he's going. Yep, okay, go ahead and release him, Let's see if he goes in that crack. Whoa! Oh! Uh, he fell. So, but he was okay, he escaped. Okay guys, uh, we made it to the other, up to the top of the hill. So, we're up here, this is the top. Over there, looking down. Um, so we're gonna see if we can find anything up here. See if any, it, uh, see if it, bleh. see if any are out basking still. So I'll let you know what we find. I haven't seen any yet up here. Um, I'm sure the wind noise is very bad because it's pretty windy. So I apologize about that, guys. Please stick with it. Hold the rope. Okay. Watch. For rattlesnakes okay I don't see anything right here so go ahead go around this way okay make sure that loop is around his, his head okay he's right here guys Emma's gonna try to get him so grab the pole by the end of the very uh, end of the pole with the rope Evan with the string and stretch it out as far as you can there you go Stretch it out as far as you can. Okay, guys, something exciting happened. Oh my gosh, there's gonna be so much wind noise. But, um, Evan, what did we just find? A rattlesnake! <laughs> yeah! Cool! Where is he? He's right here. So, he's right here, this little guy. That's a red diamondback. Um, here's a rattle. Red diamondback rattlesnake. Um, so, he's maybe like a sub-adult, he's like a sub-adult size, he was just out on the trail that we're walking on, uh, that's why you gotta keep an eye out, I know I mentioned that earlier in the video, so, let's see how he, he's just moving away, they don't want to be bothered, they get defensive if you get too close, but, um, that's about it, they just don't really want to be bothered, if you step on them, yeah, they will strike, if you try to kill them, yeah, they're gonna try to bite you. So, I hope the wind noise isn't too bad, but it's pretty windy up here, so. But, so he's chilling right there, so I'm just going to leave him be right there. Yeah, you can come a little closer, bud. Okay. He's right there in the bush. You can come right here where I'm standing. We're, we're plenty of distance away. And just chilling right there. Do you like him? Pretty, huh? Pretty snakes, aren't they? But you gotta have a lot of respect for them. Right? You gotta have a lot of respect for rattlesnakes. Give them their distance. Alright, guys. I know that uh, it's cool, huh? It's called a coon tail. Not all rattlesnakes have black and white tails, so. Some do, some don't. So that's cool, we saw a snake, guys. So that's awesome. But, uh, uh, we'll see what else we can find. We're going to leave him be. Alright guys, so we got to the top here. We're not seeing any other granite spinies out right now. Uh, we might have got here a little late and just got lucky and saw a couple. Um, they're usually pretty common. So we saw that red diamondback rattlesnake, which was really cool. Um, so again, just respect them guys. Give them space. And um, uh, they don't want nothing to do with you. You can see he's moving away. He's not running towards me trying to bite us um so just respect them you know and um 
you know, when you start messing with them, trying to kill them, they're going to defend themselves, and that's most bite. That's how most bites that happen. So, or if you don't see them and you step on them, uh, that's how bites happen also. So, but if we see anything else on the way out, we'll let you guys know. But as of right now, we're signing out. So, um, if you haven't already, if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, SoCal Fishing and Outdoors. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.